However, first things first, we have to get to the Twilight Sepulchre, and of course that means we're off to Falkrius. Did you see a dog out there? A dog? We have just got off a carriage. Why would... What sort of dog? I don't know, really. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. Um, I guess I'll stay on no. the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. I keep my everything clean, thank you very much. Okay, Inigo. So, we've arrived in Falkriath. Now, primarily we are here to return the skeleton key to the Twilight Sepulchre. And my original plan was to just ride Sweet Roll up this road here, straight to the Sepulchre. However, on closer inspection to the map, I noticed the road does not actually go all the way. So, we will have to ride all the way around, or travel up here towards Cracked Tusk Keep, and then either try to find a way through with Sweet Roll, or traipse across muddy hills, which I do not relish the idea of. The thing is, I did want to check out this place anyway, because there is supposed to be a piece of Merun's razor inside. So, I might want to check that out, see if it's uninhabited, and then just nip in and see if we can find it. And if it is inhabited, try to gauge whether or not the people living there will be awfully annoyed if I start rummaging through their stuff. But we have another reason for coming to Falkriath. We received an invitation from the Jarl. And it might be a good idea to get a few more friends in high places. I'm not totally sure whether Falkriath counts as a high place, but he is a Jarl after all. Okay, we have a store, Grey Pine Goods. We have an inn called The Dead Man's Drink. That's an interesting name. And a blacksmith and what looks like the Jarls... They're called longhouses, aren't they? Yes, the Jarls Longhouse. Let's go and introduce ourselves and find out what it is he wants from us, because you know he wants something. Okay. Okay, good grief. What an... Uh, sorry, I'm... Uh, I'm the I, steward here. I serve under Jarl on. Sidgir and Jarl Dead here before looking him. Sloppy today. I want you to reduce their wages for the month. Sir, I will Sidgir shake them up, but with the war on, it is unwise to reduce to their wages. Could you not talk at the same time as that? can't any men you. if you wish to keep Falkreath protected. I would think a man of your military training would be able to do with just this. one more but war in a long so be it. Line. Okay, no, you know, he's got a good point there, your Yarliness. You don't to want to you. pay the people with weapons very little money, or they might start thinking there are other things they can do with those weapons. Mm. What are you wearing on your head? It's good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Okay, uh, yeah, no, sorry. Yes. Um, what is it that you want? I got your letter. I'm Leonard. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. Stories? There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Okay, that was a little abrupt. First of all, what stories? Although, apparently, he's got a pretty good idea of who I am, because this job does sound remarkably similar to a job I've done before with the... Who was... The, the elves? The Somerset Shadows, was it? We went off and wiped them out. But what's in it for me, apart from your eternal friendship? And considering that headgear, I have to question the value of that. He is a Jarl. And he's a Jarl who doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. And if I do this for him, not only will he owe me, I will also have some dirt on him. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we, we can look into this for you. Good. I just... I, stop looking at the crown. Stop looking at the crown. Kill the leader of Embershed. Okay, so we've got to kill somebody. This is... This is... As I expected. How did you become a Jarl? 
while so young. My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the Hold, I now serve as Jarl. I'm trying to listen, but all I can do is look at the headgear. It's not hideous exactly, it's actually... Well, it's got some nice jewels, they're probably worth something. It just looks like something you would wear on stage in a pantomime rather than a... Stop looking at it. Okay, does your inexperience make your job difficult? Isn't that a little rude? Hmm, let's go with it anyway. Difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the hold. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. That's you. Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. Don't tempt me. Okay, Farewell. then. I'm the steward here. I served yes. under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Sidgir right, can then. sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. Oh. How long have you been a steward? It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me his steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. Okay, so you're the brains of the operation, and he's the ego. Interesting. Why is your cemetery so large, and why do I know that? I must have seen it on the way in, as we rode in on the carriage whilst I was definitely not looking for dogs. Why is your cemetery so large? Many battles have been fought here over the centuries. Graves were dug and monuments built, and the town grew around these. In time, Falkreath came to be known as the hero's graveyard. Many noble Jarls and renowned warriors asked to be buried here. Falkreath's reputation has faded somewhat, but the graves remain. Reminding us of the one inevitable truth of life. Uh, and that truth would be something poignant, like it ends? Because that's a truth I'm fairly determined to avoid. Okay. May wisdom forever light your path. I Good hope to see not. You. A well-lit path is the total nemesis of most of the things I do. Um, but like wisdom to darken it a little would be nice. Right. So... We have a total spoiled brat who's in a little bit of bother because he's got into bed with some shady characters he wishes to remove by getting into bed with some more shady characters. That's us. Obviously, we're far more stylishly shady. Shaded well, so to speak. Um, but nonetheless... So that could be interesting. Yes, it could. I'm trying to resist the urge to pick flowers because I realise it really ruins the cool image we're trying to portray. We're trying to look dangerous and dashing and I'm just running around catching butterflies and picking flowers. Right. Where the hell... Ancient Ascent... Where was... He wanted me to... Okay, let's tell you what, let's... Was it on miscellaneous? Kill the leader of Ember Shard. Let's try to find out where that is. It's... Oh. It's back towards Riverwood. Okay, well, we can get around to that sometime when we have a free moment. It's not exactly in the neighbourhood. Let's get on towards the sepulchre and swing by that keep just to check it out. If it is occupied, we might want to come back a little later when the sun has gone down and see if there's any way inside. Otherwise, we can just nip in, find that piece, and then go on to the sepulchre. It's actually not that far, I think. 
in fact. I actually think it's just up here. Yes, indeed. Okay, that's... You know what? That's a bonfire. No, it's not. It's a tree stump. It's a tree stump. There's the key. So... I see a fox. Okay. I think I see someone. I mean, I suppose they might be civilized. I mean, you never know. I mean, they've got a perimeter, they've got a guard. They've got a blacksmith, by the sounds of things. It could just be a little budding township. I could go in and say, excuse me, can I just look around? I dropped my wallet when I was here last time. Did they just shoot? Good dear. Hello? We are but weary travellers. Cracked tusk. Is that your way of saying, go away? Hello? I'm warning you. Back ah, okay, I will take that as a, as a, as a, as a, well. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's warning me and saying, back off. I don't really have to take it as anything. And it's a fairly direct instruction, isn't it? Now, where are we going? It's, I don't think it's too far in that direction. Yeah, we'll have to come back here at night. Yes, indeed. I brought some invisibility potions. If I give you an invisibility potion, would you take it? Probably not. Unfortunate. Okay, there should be a path just ahead here. We might not need to ride all the way round. Which I would appreciate. Actually, I think it's just through here. Okay. Now, you would imagine this sepulchre is not exactly clearly marked. It's not going to have a giant flag in front of it, is it? It's not... Well, maybe it does. I don't know. It's, it's, that's the thing with Daedric Princes. They're not always consistent. So she may be all into thieves and... the fire elemental. Luckily, when she does those little flips, she must have her eyes closed, which works for me. Um, yes, we're, we're, we're pretty much going in that direction. So, probably not vulnerable to paralyze. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not tell you to do anything. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. Just, I might tell you to do something. Could you just wait? Why haven't you got your bow out? Get your bow out. Don't you, don't you want to use your bow? What do you need? Uh, I need you to do something. Show me. I will. What Definitely. is the plan? I love the father you whisper. Oh, no, no, that's Nothing not. I no. Yes. Um, no. It's, uh, mind if I ask you something. What is it? Uh. Let's talk about talking. Let's not talk about talking. Um, let's discuss combat. What needs work? I, I wouldn't say work exactly. Don't take this as criticism. I am adaptable. It's a suggestion. Uh, fight, however. Favor the blade and get close if possible. No, you're already favoring the bow, right? You're already, you're already, you're already, fa okay. No, no, never mind, never right mind. behind you. Right, I'm just going to eat. I'm wondering if I should perhaps take a little fire resistance. I'm probably... I'll tell you what, let's just put that on the favourites. We might want to get a little closer. It only lasts for 60 seconds. 
I was thinking it might be a nice idea to send you in there and you could do your bow thing, but the chances are you're not going to kill it with one shot and then it's going to start throwing fire at us. Now the other plan is I close in, stab it in the back and then run away because I think these things explode soon after death. Run, 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 run. Okay, that plan works. I forgot to take... I forgot to take the actual fire resist potion. Oh, well, never mind. Got some fire salts out of it. And... Okay. This is the second time I've seen a black mage dead with a flame atronarch near them. Either... We've got a lot of very bad wizards summoning creatures that kill them pretty much immediately, but then wouldn't it disappear? Or we've got wizards who are friends with flame matronarchs who are being bumped off. And we would have to ask why. I mean, I know it doesn't really affect me, but I'm curious. Somebody out there wants hags who have flame atronarchs dead. That's a very specific sort of serial killer. It might also be a serial killer. Is that a person? I was going to say it might also be a serial killer that doesn't like rabbits. What sort of monster doesn't like rabbits? Does that look like somebody's up there guarding? Is this the sepulchre? It, it's got a, a slightly ominous ritualistic look to it, doesn't it? Both this. It's going to be here. Okay. This is beginning to look suspiciously like a dungeon. And I have definitely sworn off dungeons. I was very specific about it that I would not be going in any ever again. Yep. Yeah. Here we are. About to enter one. This is really quite frustrating. Okay, well, there are no guards. Why can't you just follow me? Would it be that hard? You're rolling through a stream. I mean, seriously, there's nobody here now. You can stop rolling. Okay. What is... A vacant beehive. Nice. Alchemical components. Okay. Fair enough. Let's enter the Twilight Sepulchre. Speak to the Nightingale Sentinel. Ooh. In you go. Are you not... Are you not all that keen on going in there? Is this another one of those places where you're thinking, you know, I'd rather not come? You seemed okay in the Nightingale Hall where we got the armour and met the Daedric Prince. This place just gives you the screaming eebie-jeebies, does it? Fair enough, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, then. Would that be the person, guardian, I'm supposed to be speaking to? Okay, it really is dark. Let's put the weapon away. It really is horribly dark. Hello! Okay, that's Nightingale armor, yes. Talk to the Nightingale Sentinel. I don't recognize you. 
but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? Oh, I'm a person who forgot to change into the the. Th can I have a moment? Can I just? Can I just? Good luck, Nightingale. No, no, no! Don't go anywhere. I want to talk. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. No, no. Okay, before you go, before you go, I'd ask the same question of you. The Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. Well, I'm not here to relieve you, if that's what you're wondering. The last, what happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. You're not Gallus, are you? How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. You are Gallus, Perhaps aren't you? Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Right, wait a moment, you're Gallus, he says as if he hadn't figured it out ten seconds ago. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? That ranks pretty high on the list of very stupid questions. I'm a nightingale. Doesn't it occur to you that perhaps I've heard about the, the, the guildmaster who was killed? No, no. I have the key. Yes, the key told me everything. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. Okay. And Mercer Frey? Very dead. Very, very dead. Then, it's over. And my death wasn't in vain. If you say so. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Oh, okay. I did this for Nocturnal. I did this for Honor the Guild. I did this to get rich. Um, rich? I'm not that worried about getting rich. I did it for personal gain, but to be honest, I'm quite happy. No, I did this for Nocturnal. All praise the Daedric Prince. Yada, yada. That's quite a noble sentiment for someone in our, well, in your line of work. I'm a noble kind of person. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Uh, Kalia helped me. She's, she's doing pretty well, actually. She gave me a bow, so don't get all mad if you see me take it out, okay? Kalia? She's still alive? Yes, she is. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. You're going to say, no, I cannot do that. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. Yeah, I kind of knew that was coming. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. Uh, I, I, I hate to break this to you, but, um... You're dead, son. You're dead. It's like, that's a done deal. You're all kind of see-through and smoky and everything. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Evermare, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. Okay. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed Severely limiting our ties to her. So I have to go by myself, really. Take the key back, fix the whole conduit, and then you'll be fine, right? I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Evermere and replacing the key. Yeah. Thing is, you know this is just because Nocturnal wants us to jump through hoops for her amusement. You know that, right? How does Ebonmere affect all of us? The Ebonmere is a conduit through which Nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. It's, it's basically a portal of luck, isn't it? Luck is meaningless, what we do involves skill. Luck is meaningless? I flip a coin for every major decision that I make. If luck is meaningless, pretty much everything I do is meaningless. 
Fine. What we do involves skill. Kind of. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Oh, plenty will. But Nocturne, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, it would be rather nice to have a friend in a really high, or in this case, really low place, nudging things along for me. How's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild, about the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Okay, so what you're saying is all those times I failed, it was not really my fault. And that anyone who says it is, is just wrong. Definitely wrong. And I can tell them that, right? You're wrong. It wasn't my fault. I'm fine. I'm doing great. It's just Lady Luck was not on my side. Go away. Sort of thing. So with the Ebon Mere, the Ebon Mere closed, our looks run dry. Precisely. There are a few who still call Nocturnal Lady Luck. And for good reason. Hmm. Okay. What's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels? With the Ebon Mere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose or their original identities. Why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebon Mirror was sealed. Okay, right, so it took a little time. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. Okay. Can't you just take the key? You, you, it's going to drop through his fingers. Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect me, too. As I get closer to the Ebon Mirror, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. Okay. What will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? It's going to be horrible, isn't it? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Yeah, okay, definitely, definitely. We will read Nistrom's journal. Good luck, Nightingale. Yeah. Thank you. Um, before I go on, do you have a little private place I can just, uh... I know you're a ghost, but I'd just like a little privacy to change. That's a bit more appropriate, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right, so... I'm going to assume... That is the way I'm going, although... Maybe I should check around a little bit before we go in? Is the Nordic Excavation Site! This is one of those... Oh, right, yes indeed. I should use my torch bug light. Right, right! I will get some more of those archaeological pieces whilst I'm here. Four Nordic Fragments. Zeno T Y. Okay, I have no idea what any of that means, especially in the last bit. Oh, archaeology skill has increased to three, though. What use is that? I have no idea. My torch bug light is not re... Oh. I was about to say, not really very useful. But I was wrong. Okay. Actually, I probably should just stick with the torch at this... Point. Oh. Are there going to be lots of little helpful things to find? 
There are not going to be traps, are there? You know, I'm... Okay. Some odd, odd effects here. I've got something in my eye that's making me blink a little funny. Oh, maybe there's things to harvest. Mushrooms for poisons and... Oh my god, this is just... Oh, forget the torch bug light. It is bloody dark here. Hello? Nistrom! D okay! You didn't get very far. I was anticipating I'd find you for... Okay, that's not filling me with confidence that your journal is going to help me much. No, it's not. Okay, was that it? Oh, good God, that's dark. I mean, I get it. it it's the Twilight Sepulchre, but seriously, it's dark here. Okay, right. So, we journal Nistrom's. I don't know why I let Amnus talk me. Okay, no, it's probably not Amnus. It's, he's probably not a Nord. He's probably an Imperial trying to say a Nord word. It's probably Anders, isn't it? I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of Nocturnal, I've been assigned a mentor. Old dark old fellow by the name of Lithellus. Maybe if I act the part, I can pry some information from him about the Pilgrim's Path. Anders swears to me that all of the temple's wealth is stashed within the inner sanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path. So my job is to get us straight through the obstacles. Sorry, is to get us through the obstacles alive. Hmm. Lithellus was easier to coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information on the pilgrim's path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing Lithellus seemed clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This what he said about each. Okay, five tests. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Okay, so we've got we've got shadows that will kill us. Got it. Above all they stand, vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. Beholden to the murk, dark contentious of the glow so they don't like the light offer what she desires most but reject the material for her greatest want is that which cannot be seen felt or carried okay reject the material her greatest want is that which can be seen felt which cannot be seen felt or carried uh th this could be anything it could be love it could be hate it could be a dream I suppose you could see dreams in, in your mind. Direct and yet indirect, the path to salvation, a route of cunning with fortune, betraying the foolish. Oh, we're going to be tempted with riches, aren't we? We're going to be tempted with stuff. And I should ignore it for the path to salvation. Okay. The journey is complete. The Empress embrace awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. Don't hesitate. There's probably going to be one test that involves me just blindly running, right? He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like night is the new day and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean. The ghost of the sun? Wouldn't that be a shadow? Night is of the new day. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual, Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test. Okay. Probably going to have to read that again once we know what the hell we're facing for sure. Okay. Wish me luck, I suppose. It's pretty 
appropriate do I want? God, it's dark. Uh, out of curiosity, could there be traps here? I mean, it doesn't mention anything, really, in the book, but could there be? All right, let's just... Let's just treat this the way we would treat any other job. Stay in the shadows. Oh, wait. Um... Vigilance everlasting. Beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. Okay. The shadows, the shades, don't like the light. But then neither do I. This... This could get confusing. Yes, indeed. Okay. Alright. So... shade. Okay. Ooh. Um. What was the... Direct and yet indirect. The path to salvation. A root of cunning with fortune betraying the foolish. That, is that their way of saying don't? See, I just assumed that meant, oh, hello. I just, oh, come on, oh, come on, oh, come on, oh, come on. Don't tell me I can't take this. Don't tell me I'm not supposed to take. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me I, I mean, it's void salts and it's only a week. Actually, I've made better potions than that. I mean, I don't need them. I, I want them. Have I got them? No. Okay. I should focus on getting the task done. I guess this is... I sense a presence. Am I allowed to, you know, kill these guys? Can I kill these guys? Uh, silver is probably the best bet. Poison is probably a waste of time. Okay. Please tell me. They can't see me here. I mean, it is dark. I mean, it is dark, dark. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, nothing here. Go back about your business. What was your business? What were you? Please tell me you can't see me. I know I'm directly in your line of sight, but I am in pitch bloody black. If I stand in... I mean, it was sort of suggesting... No, they're walking through the light. They're walking through the light. Okay. Have you got your back to me? I think I'm supposed to be going that way. But God knows how I'm supposed to get past. I mean... Would, would Nocturnal be really upset if I offed them? You could just put it down to them being unlucky, right? I mean... Probably, probably gonna get really into trouble. Let's just... Hmm. 
Does someone live among the dead? I can't go anywhere without getting without Okay. Okay, well no voice came out and said, You have failed. So that's a good sign, right? Okay, now I'm thinking I should just go back and stab those two. You know. In case. Oh, there was stuff there. There was stuff. There was void salts. It, 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 it talks about not... She can't be annoyed with me for following the very nature she encourages in us. Surely. Surely. I mean, surely she'd be displeased with me if I didn't take that stuff. I sense, oh God, a presence. I mean, I would be. I would be. Okay, let's try and get close to this guy. Guy, spirit. Okay, maybe I should just, I've got, I've got several of them. Yeah, I've got several of them. Cutting a throat of a shade. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay. Linen wraps. Silk, that's too heavy. It's just too heavy. Stick to the stuff that you really, really... Maybe that's what the warning meant. It was like, you know, don't take too much. That looks like a secret passage, doesn't it? You know, don't, don't... Don't be greedy. Take the valuable stuff. That's what a good thief does. It probably, probably means that. It probably means that. I mean, she can't honestly favor thieves who don't pilfer things when they see them. Only thieves who get greedy and pilfer too much. Yeah, how do you know when it's too much? How do you know? Oh, Shezard and Divines. How do you know when it's too much? Probably when it's too easy. Yeah. All right. Though that's what I came back for. Okay. And I don't really need wine. Oh, chances folly. All right. Just a few things. A few things. Consider it a tribute. Yes. In a way, this is me. Worshipping nocturnal? This is me doing, you know. God, this is me forgetting there was a bloody trap and walking strip. They miss me. They miss me. That means I'm lucky, which means she's pleased. She's pleased with me. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to psychoanalyze a Daedric prince while sneaking around their temple, stealing from them. Okay, you know what? Stop thinking about it. Okay. Oh. This is... Right. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Above all, they stand vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. Okay, go towards the light. Oh, what? No! No! I'm the shade! I'm the shade! I'm the shade! I should be contentious of the... Th Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark, they wander even more into sort of defilers. Above all, they stand vigilant, everlasting, beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. Don't go in the bloody, because it damages you. That's what that is. Okay, brilliant. We need to regenerate health. And uh, do I have uh, 
plentiful healing. So I have to get through here without stepping in the light. Okay. Can I? Ooh. Okay, so my light works. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. I thought that was a stairway. I don't know why I thought that was a stairway. Oh, this is a stairway. With a trap on it. Okay, what the hell is that? That is a dead person. Don't. Oh, shh. Do not step where the dead person stepped. Okay, I'm not seeing any shades. I know I'm kind of announcing myself doing this, but... Ha 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 ha. But... Okay. All right. What? What was that? Oh. You really, really were thinking I was going to be moving a lot faster than I was going to. Yes, you did. Okay. Turning the torch off just to see where the areas of darkness are. All right. Probably don't want to fall down there. Nope. So this this teaches you to avoid the light. Because it's all going to be very allegorical, isn't it? It's all going to be teaching the followers of Nocturnal. bits of bodies and skeletons up here. Well, I say for some reason, because my mind is playing tricks on me. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Those darts go far. A blowgun. Oh, a blowgun with poison darts. That's what I need. That is exactly what I need. Yes, it is. Okay. Don't go near the light. Don't go near the light. Yeah. All right. So, okay, I'm finding myself beginning to get confident. This worries me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it, right, I'm looking at the floor. Don't look at the floor, look at any light. You are pretty much a vampire right about now. Yes, you are. Out of curiosity, right, my regeneration is still on. There's a the door. There's a the door. Okay. Two down. Three to go. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. That's a little cryptic. Yes, it is. Maybe it will become a little more obvious. Reject the material. Does that mean don't loot things? I mean, I just... You can't honestly expect me not to loot things. You just... You can't. It's just not... It's not really something that... Okay. Oh, there's, there's no way you're not... No, no, no. This... Gain 30 soul energy when a living foe dies, granting the soul burst power at 1,000 soul energy. 
Okay. I'll tell you what, a mage will pay me for it, so... Well, nothing horrible has happened... ...yet. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. Her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Okay. What is it that cannot be seen, felt, or carried? Okay. Right, reject the material. And the material is a grand soul gem, septims, and a soul gem fragment. Okay, don't take anything. So, I'll read it again. Offer what she desires most. Would that be devotion? Love? My soul? Um. There's a grand soul gem. Okay. This is one of those um, secret passages. Yes, it is. Okay. So. Reject the material. Ah, uh, okay. So don't take these. Do not take these. Okay, totally lost. Totally lost. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. Her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Um... Is it a soul? Do I have to... Do I have to put something here? I didn't get anything, did I? Um... Grand soul gem. Can we put something in the hand? No? Am I missing something? Darkness. Darkness. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Darkness. Uh. <laughs> reject the material. Do not push your luck. Do not push your luck. Yeah, no, do not push your luck. Do not. All right. So. And. Direct and yet indirect, the path to salvation, a route cunning with fortune, betraying the foolish. The path to salvation, a route of cunning with fortune, betraying. I could probably make it through there, but... Unlock Iron Door Master. Well, we've got a skeleton key. We might as well use it 
while we've still got a hold of it. God, I love this thing. <laughs> Alright, so this would allow us to skip the horrible swinging arms of death. this. I feel like this is going to take me back to where... Oh! What? Oh, I didn't think of that. Remember the old saying? Curiosity killed the cat? You see, I don't really need to go down here. I'm just curious. Want to make sure that's the place with the swinging blades, even though, let's face it, I already know it is. I can hear it. Okay. Curiosity semi-sated. What have we got here? Twilight Sepulchre Inner Sanctum. Well, out of curiosity, what the hell is I'm very curious as to what this is for. Because it's difficult to imagine. It's just there for me to totally ignore. Direct and yet indirect. The path to salvation, a root of cunning, with fortune betraying the foolish. Okay. Direct and yet indirect. So... Don't go the direct way, but sort of do. A root of cunning with fortune betraying the foolish. Are you saying there is something in here that would be... F ah, money. Money on a pedestal. Riches, a book. What the hell is that? Oh, this is going to kill me. That message is saying you have to go somewhat indirectly, but kind of directly. As in, not straight on, but just a little bit around. And whatever you do, do not... Do not go for the shiny things. Direct and yet indirect. The path of salvation, a route of gunning with fortune betraying the foolish. Ignore the fortune. Ignore the fortune. Ignore the fortune. Yeah, ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Oh, this is killing me. I'm probably... I'm probably... Misinterpreting what it says <sighs> but let's not push our luck oh what was the last one the journey is complete the empress embrace awaits the fallen hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion okay no hesitation no hesitation All right, no hesitation, no hesitation. No hesitation. <sighs> leap of faith. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's the leap of faith. Uh, more like the leap of the bloody desperate, but
Uh, Anders! Anders message! Ooh, cryodidic iron dagger of sapping? Does 10 points of magic damage? That's a crap weapon, but a nice effect, actually. Right. Oh. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all of those ridiculous riddles, just to end up here after I memorized Nistrom's clues he'd collected from Lithellus. I slit his throat. Oh, well, fair enough. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, don't. Uh. Okay. Oh! I can't move. I can move. Return the skeleton key to the Ebon Mere. Okay, that light doesn't help much. Blocked door, blocked door, blocked door. Replace skeleton key. Ebon mere lock. My mind. What do we have here? Now it's that of years is an entrance. On your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. Uh. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected, and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fair enough. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. Okay. I bid you to drink deeply from the Evanmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nocturnal. See you the queen stay this time, won't you? Yeah! It's... I mean, could we not, whoa, could we not borrow it occasionally? No? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. You said you couldn't your come here! You seemed quite pleased with your efforts. You? Eternal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. You specifically said you couldn't come here. Too much emotional baggage. Oh, she played me. Fair enough. Please, she sounded pretty indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of stealth, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Um, so what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things. 
but actually the beginning. Uh, the beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Fair enough. Okay, okay. That's good. We're going to go on a crime spree. I'm hoping everybody else joins in now. I really didn't envisage doing all the work myself. I was kind of hoping to end up with, you know, an array of useful allies. Not people to sponge up the coin I'm making for them. Tell me about the Agent of Stealth. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. Sounds. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Oh, that does sound nice. Tell me about the Agent of Strife. The Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. Okay, that sounds useful and yet somehow a little, um, icky, really. I mean, not totally sure I want to be thrusting my tentacles or tendrils or whatever you call them into other people to sustain myself. Um, call me a prude if you will. Tell me about the Agent of Subterfuge. The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Interesting. So basically, we, we, we brainwash somebody. Very interesting. Choose your path and your journey will be complete. Oh, well, well we're definitely not going for tendrils. Which one was this? This was... Yes, fellow Nightingale. Do I have to step on it or step through? And the full moon here. This was the strife. This was your tendril. Subterfuge is yes, here. And we can change our mind and come back and find out what... Okay. Uh, let me just... Take a sip of water. It's, it's, it's thirsty work, this decision-making thing. Okay, let's go. Yes, fellow Nightingale. <sighs> Please stop. Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal gained. Okay. And that is... For 120 seconds, you automatically become invisible while sneaking. I'm going to assume this is something I can only do. Ryan. I was going to say once again. Alice. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. Oh yeah, that's what me. What do you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. D uh, yes, Nightingale. Oh. What is it? Nothing. Uh, so, so, so now what? Now what? Um. I must wait a full day before altering my. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so. A, this means the key is just, I don't have the key anymore, right? But a slightly more important question, how the hell do I get out of here? And does it involve walking into one of these weird bluey things? Probably. Portal to entrance. This. Okay. Kind of creepy. And 
Oh, I could go straight there from, from now on. If I want to change it, I don't have to go through the path of the pilgrim. That's useful. Have these changed colour? They've changed colour. So we're good. We're good. Everything's good. Our luck has been restored. I don't have the skeleton key, but our luck has been restored. And now we just go off and rob everyone of everything. 